I think that's very, very dangerous. Scooter Braun says from his point of view, he has no bad blood with Taylor Swift, but he does take an issue with her outspoken fans. The music executive eagerly explains in his new interview with MSNBC that he supports the Grammy winner's effort to re-record her albums and take ownership of her work. I think that Taylor has every right to re-record. She has every right to pursue her masters, and I wish her nothing but well, and I have zero interest in saying anything bad about her because I've never said anything bad about her in the past, and I won't start to now. However, Scooter, who manages Justin Bieber and Ariana Grande, among others, is not on board with one aspect, which he perceives as, quote, dangerous. His tone is serious when he says, The only thing I disagree with is weaponizing a fan base. Um, the artists I work with have very large fan bases. You don't do that. It's very dangerous. There's people within that fan base who have mental health issues. Um, there's families involved, and I think that's very, very dangerous. And I know the artists that sometimes will weaponize are even the artists who say, I know what it's like to be ridiculed. Mm. Um, so I, I think that that's a very dangerous thing, and I, I think that there's a responsibility um, with a fan base. And you think that has happened? Um, that's all I'll say about that. Scooter also says in the interview that he tried negotiating with Taylor before purchasing her masters, but when she signed with Universal Music Group, he assumed the deal was off the table and went forward with purchasing Big Machine. E! News has reached out to Taylor's rep for comment on the MSNBC interview. Braun's public feud with Swift dominated headlines in June 2019 when Taylor shared a social media post accusing Big Machine Label Group, her previous record label, of denying her the opportunity to own her music by buying her masters. Scooter later purchased them by acquiring Big Machine with his company, Ithaca Holdings. Swift said at the time, Never in my worst nightmares did I imagine the buyer would be Scooter. In a since-deleted Instagram post in November 2019, Scooter said the feud led him to receiving calls from fans threatening the safety of his then-wife Yael Cohen and the couple's children. Braun ended up selling Taylor's masters in November 2020 to Shamrock Holdings for a reported $300 million. Following the sale, Taylor wrote on social media that she had hoped to make a deal with Scooter, but his team, quote, wanted me to sign an ironclad NDA, stating I would never say another word about Scooter Braun unless it was positive before moving forward with the purchase. In the aftermath, Taylor has chosen to start re-recording her first six albums with Universal to officially own those albums. So far, she has released updated versions of Red and Fearless.